All right, this is Master Geo here at New York Comic Con 2014 on Saturday with the two gorgeous and talented Twisted Twins, Jen and Sylvia Soska. How are you both doing? So good. I am so fucking excited to be here. I love New York. Have you actually gotten to check out anything from New York? Yes, I got to wander around the subway, which I was super excited about. It's very Jacob's Laddery. And then I went to a restaurant called Laurel, which is absolutely amazing. Typical Canadians. We're excited to go in the New York subway. The subway. Does it compare to uh, the uh, Canadian uh, trains? The Canadian trains, we have a sky train. It just kind of goes underneath. It's not as elaborate. As, I mean, you wouldn't shoot a horror movie in our sky trains. But in your subways, oh, God, yeah, that's horror All movie right, well. material right there. As a New Yorker, I will agree. I will agree. So, all right, you guys have so many projects. I mean, um, after last time I saw you, you guys were promoting See No Evil 2. And since then, you, you have gone like from project to project to project. How does it feel? Exhausting, but awesome. <laughs> it's a nerd's dream come true. I feel like we're like director of sharks. Like yeah. once we stop directing, we die. So we have to always be directing something. Yeah, it seems like uh, you'll finish one thing. Actually, you're not even finished one not thing, and, finished, you, no. and, you, and you're announcing the next thing already. So let's go one by one, since this is uh, out already. Could you tell me a little bit about your uh, ABCs of Death 2? Uh, it's very classy. Um, it's because Jen and I watch so much porn. <laughs> we took our love of uh, Gonzo and backroom casting and hente, and we made Tears for Torture porn, which uh, I don't want to spoil the end, but there's a lot of fucking in it. All right. <laughs> and you can enjoy it at the surface level, and there's also a commentary about the objectification of women in horror, often horror anthologies. All right. Um, how long was that shoot? Because it's obviously a short film. How long was it? It was a weekend. We finished shooting See No Evil 2, and I was like, hey, crew, who wants to work all weekend? And they did, and then we shot it. All right. Um, oh, we also have the after credit scene. So oh. stay tuned after the credits. I, I, it's our first after credit scene, so I'm very proud we got that position. Does anyone know when it'll uh, hit Blu-ray or DVD? No, they haven't announced it yet, but on Halloween it's coming in theaters, so it's okay. a great opportunity to get laid. You yes. watch ABC's of Death, someone will fuck you. There you go. That's how you say That should be the, uh, right the tagline. All right, See No Evil 2, that will be hitting soon, correct? Yeah, six days away. It's going to be on VOD and then on October 21st, Blu-ray and DVD, which I'm super excited about. It's been over a year that we've been waiting to put that baby out. All right. It has its world premiere at Scream Fest on the 15th, Ooh, and exciting. it's going to be a star-studded red carpet event. Oh, uh, any w the WWE guys, I'm sure, will be there, right? Well, definitely Kane will be there, and I don't know if I should say anyone else that's going to be there, but uh, I... Gold Dust. Gold coming down. Really? What? Yeah. Nice. The golden one. The golden one. Well, he's a huge movie fan, so of yes, course he he's going to he be there. Is, he is a he's a phenomenal movie. actor, too. And I'm so excited. Tommy Pistol is going to be there. Really? I love Tommy Pistol, and this is the first time we're going to be meeting in real life. How did you get Tommy Pistol to go to the premiere? Tommy messaged me on um, uh, Twitter, and we started talking. He likes my movies, and I really like his movies. Wow. What do you like about Tommy's movies? Well, that, true, true, true. Yeah, we're looking for an opportunity for some sort of collaboration. Uh, yeah, he should do like a little uh, role or something I in one of your movies. So. That would be really awesome. Yeah, he's super talented. Fuck yeah. All right. Um... Your next movie, your other film was the uh, was the film that with uh, Big Show. Yes, um, uh, Big Show, Dean Cain, and Michael Eklund in Vendetta, where it's amazing because you're so used to seeing Dean in these like he's he's Superman, right? And uh, he murders horribly. Wow. So many people. He's so fucking dark in this movie. If you were to tell me two weeks before we went to camera that Dean Cain is the baddest motherfucker I'm ever going to work with, I probably would have laughed at you. Now I'm like, this guy is nuts. Wow. It's really our version of a Punisher movie. Dean Cain as Frank Castle and Big Show as the Kingpin. And he is the Kingpin. You couldn't pick a better actor to be the Kingpin. Wow, that sounds badass. And I know you guys like comic books, so... Oh yeah, we love them. So, um... How has New York Comic Con been treating you since you guys love comic books and this is your first time here and everything? It's our second time. Se Last yeah, second year. time, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year we, we, were, I was with you guys. we wrapped See No Evil and flew right out. Right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah. So now that you're a little more time at the at the floor and whatnot, what do you think? How does this one compare to other conventions? It's I think it's more people than San Diego Comic Con in a tighter spot, which is awesome. 
Uh, there's a lot of cosplayers. There have been cosplayers constantly, and a lot of people that are not only fans of stuff we do, but also fans of like Painkiller Jane. So it's really exciting to be able to meet them, and lots of wrestling fans, which is awesome. How uh, far into Painkiller Jane are you guys right now? We are casting Jane right now, and it's all dependent. We want to. We don't want a tiny little waif Jane. We want a badass Jane that looks like she could fuck you up. She's not the one that you're going to try and, you know, send a drink over to. She's the kind that you spill her beer and you're like, oh my god, I don't I don't mean anything, man. I don't want any trouble. I, I trust you guys casting. I wish you guys would cast one of, the actual, one of the other comic book movies. Oh god, me too. I wish I was casting the Daredevil movie when that happened. Sorry. <laughs> I, I wish you guys were casting that Superman Batman movie. Cause uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'm going to check that one out. Yeah. I'm a Marvel girl. There's well, only so much time in the day. That That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> but the other non Marvel movies, I wish you guys were casting those too. So. Uh, me too. I was so happy with the casting in Dread. Yes. Dread was Perfect I, I, absolutely, I agree, I agree. And I know we discussed, because I had mentioned something about a uh, rumor on what they were doing on the Fantastic Four. When he uh, was, I forget who it was, were, went off and... It was probably me. I was very, <laughs> so very upset, upset about it. About it. So upset. Because they're all too young to be astronauts right, right, and right, rocket right. scientists. Right. And uh, I love that Sue and Johnny are brother and sister, and now one of them's black. And it's not a racial thing. It's like, well, then make both of them black, or make Reed Richards black. Like, what? I, that I would agree. Be an interesting thing. Make I it agree. a smart black guy. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. The first rumor was it was found footage, and then one and. <laughs> That's even worse. I wonder if it's going to keep going that way. Trying to make it chronicle, right? Yeah, like, yeah, Wait, that was chronicle it. Chronicle was good. I don't understand why, but let's rip it off completely. Hire the director, hire the actor, hire everything, hire the writer. The best thing that made Chronicle great is Max Landis. Right, That's what's right, the LA. Right. Otherwise, it would have just been a steaming pile of shit. <laughs> well, that's Hollywood for How you. you. Really feel, <laughs> I'm a big Landis fan, John and Max. Well, uh, see, that's what's good about being on my side. Yeah. Nope. I, you know, I'm not going to censor you, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm always flattered because you guys lo love, you know, what I write and stuff. We and love your writing. And the list. The list is our favorite. We look around all year for the list. But you're uh, so busy. Do you just travel the world working constantly? Because you have uh, new shit up every day. I, I wish I traveled the world. Mo most of my stuff is, like, New York, and then, like, I'm lucky I get to go to Vegas. That's it. Uh, I've never been to Vegas. Never been. Oh, girls have to come to Vegas. We almost had a sham marriage. We we actually, had a, a sham, marriage. a real marriage in Vegas. Was that when your status said uh, you had changed your status? Yeah, yeah, I was going to. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one was sober enough to go. So actually, one person. One person was sober enough to tell us not to drive to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, you girls have to come out to Vegas. You can meet Tommy Pistol and everybody there. Uh, Does Tommy live there? Nah, he's an. I think he's an LA guy. He is an LA guy. Yeah, yeah. I would love to meet Xander Corvus. I think that's the only person I'd be super nervous to meet. I wouldn't even know what to say. <laughs> well, Tommy's bringing someone with him, so I'm hoping it's either Xander Corvus or Axel Braun. I love Axel. Axel Brown. Brown's my favorite porn director. Axel's oh. really cool, and he knows yeah. his comic book stuff. He does, and they're all his pornos are better than <laughs> the, the movies, movies that come out. His co mean, his costumes are amazing. It's incredible. I love his Wolverine better than any Wolverine I've seen. I, I agree, because I got to interview him. Uh, Did you really? Yeah, at Vegas. Oh. Unfortunately, my my camera wasn't working, and I lost a whole interview. But oh. long story short, he he was he started talking about comic books and like. Yeah. And he knew all the issues. He's like, yes, and I based it on this and on that. And I'm like, dude actually reads comics. That's awesome. I always, I'm always, a huge supporter of his work. I'm excited anytime there's a, a superhero movie coming out because I know there's an Axel Brown movie just around the corner. Which is more than likely going to be better. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm waiting for him to do a Winter Soldier because I think I think Bucky is so hot. I, I think they, they did shoot it. I don't they, I think it, I, they shot it. They haven't released it yet. It, yeah. And in the Winter Soldier, there was no Winter Soldier. I was so upset. I was like, no, why? <laughs> okay, well, it's been... <laughs> I know, we started talking about porn and it just went off. It went off. That's fine. <laughs> well, you've covered like all of my favorite topics in the world. Comic books, horror film, porn. <laughs> that was one of my favorite subjects, too. <laughs> I don't know, some wrestling might be good. Yes, so uh, recent thoughts on what's going on in wrestling. 
Kane has been getting in so much trouble. I love Kane. I love him, but it's not his fault. He's just doing his job and being perfect. He's not. He's not in the wrong. He's a shit disturber. <laughs> yes, but I do love when he rips off his suit. It's like, oh, Kane. Fifty Shades of Kane. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys could cast any other WWE guys in a dream film, who would you want to cast? I'd love to work with Goldust. He's he's just such a phenomenal actor. I saw a film, an independent film that he did re recently, and he was incredible. I'd love to work with a diva as well. Uh, I don't know why we didn't get to work with Summer Rae when she did Marine Four, because I was like, give us a diva when you shoot with a diva, give us one. And Bray Wyatt, we've been we'd love to make a Wyatt family the film. Wyatt. That would be a that'd be a freaky ass movie. I think it would be half Texas Chainsaw Massacre and half the Sacrament. A little bit of deliverance too, I think. No. <laughs> Can you imagine Vince would be so mad at us. Uh, I, I, don't, I, do it. I don't think so. I don't know if Squeal Like a Pig would be in that. <laughs> the director's cut it would be. The director's cut, all Absolutely. right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well it's been an well. Actually, you didn't tell me what, what wrestler you'd be Dreamcast. Dreamcast? Yes. Other than Glenn, I don't know. I I want to work with Paul again, uh, Paul Big Show. He's so amazing, and he's such a great actor. It's it's weird because every time I go backstage, I feel like I'm going to like the pet store, and I'm like, oh, I want that one. Oh, I want that one. Oh, I want that one. I want that one. Oh, and Mark Henry. Mark Henry. I want to work with Mark Henry. Twins, actually. Oh, the Bellas. I bet the Bellas. Uh, I think because I've talked to them and they have dirty potty mouths like really? us. They are awesome. <laughs> I want to put them in an R-rated movie, maybe a bridesmaids. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right. Well, any final words from both of you? Watch our movies. Oh my God! If you want to see a Bray, Bray Wyatt family movie, you have to watch See No Evil because then people will be like, Oh, you guys did okay with See No Evil. It made some money. So that's the way the Wyatt family movie will happen. And thank you for watching our shit, because I don't want I wait tables anymore, and that's because people like you bought our shit. So thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, and thank you.